Mark Smith, Mark Smith, excuse me, presiding over the action. You got Johnny Alvarado in the blue corner, blue trunks, black trim, Chance Crestinger, blue and white trunks. Alvarado, the wrestler, probably wants to get this fight down to the ground right away. He's throwing a couple feel out jabs. Got to set up that takedown. Can't just go for it nowadays. And boy, this crowd wants some action. Yeah, and they got it. Alvarado grabs go. two legs. And he, no, he can't put Crestinger down. Crestinger shows some nice balance. He was close. Now he fights for an underhook. Could still get it here. Yeah, he still does. It is. Very nice. Relentless. However, he almost gives up his back in process. Nice scramble there. Crestinger back to his feet. Now these guys are swinging for the fences. Alvarado back working for the double. And he dumps Crestinger in. He pops back up, though. Back to his feet, very nice. I think there's a little Put bit of a jack in a box, huh? He sure down. is. And he goes for a ride. Johnny nice Alvarado with the takedown. Alvarado looking to Let's do some work in pass go, guard. Go, Johnny, you can hear his corner in the back instructing him to do so. Alvarado needs to get that hand free. Start a little, little ground and pound. Crestinger definitely seems comfortable there. On the ground, he looks like he's got some very, very Mark, quick Johnny hips. Mark. Hit the body! Who knows if he'll Mark, transition Mark. and maybe work for some submissions or if he'll look to get back up. Mark, there he goes. As he's shown us, he's very apt there to do. Now remember, we're going three minutes here, so we're at the halfway point with Go 90 freeze. seconds left in this first freeze. round. Johnny Alvarado versus Chance Preston. You're fighting Johnny. for the interim lightweight title. That's 155, pa pound, back down, back down. 155 pounds. Alvarado's go, smothering him, and he's, he's adding that ground and pound that we haven't really seen too much of tonight. He's scoring go points, on, though. is definitely going to have to come out with some kind of uh, a different yeah. game plan going Let's into go round two to make it. Johnny, Remember, these rounds are a little bit longer. Mark, it's a title fight. And the crowd wanting a little bit more action, starting to boo a little. You know, with the heavyweight Preston laying out his opponent a little while ago, I think the fans have been thirsting a little bit more for that kind of blood. <laughs> right now, though, Johnny Alvarado, make no mistake about it, he's being dominant. 30 seconds left here in this first round. Alvarado Johnny still on top. Do something. Taxing his opponent a little bit. Watch your head, Johnny. Taking a little bit of that yeah, energy away. Yeah, this Watch fight more than likely will go Another Good round job. or so. Let's see how Chance Crestinger responds Good in the job. second round. There's 10 seconds left Good in this job. first round, however. This has pretty much Good been perfection job. from Alvarado up Good. until this point, right? It has been, yeah. You know, that, that could have been more of just depleting the gas tank and securing that round, but good work by Johnny Alvarado. Beltman's got to regroup. He cannot be taken down in the second round. He'll be down two rounds. Then I'll need a finish. Now referee Mark Smith gave him a warning. Let's see if this replay shows us anything. Maybe there's some grabbing of the trunks or something, but here's Johnny Alvarado getting the takedown, slamming him down on the ground. A little bit of ground and pound, body head, body head. Nice mixture there. Keep him busy, making sure that the fight doesn't get stood up. Couple scrambles here where Crestinger was looking to get back up, but Alvarado was relentless. Very impressed with his wrestling. But Crestinger's no joke, man. He's 5-1. Let's see if he can keep this fight on the feet. I'd like to see what both fighters have to offer with their striking. Could the milkman be maybe the milky skin? Could be, yeah. Alvarado really low in his stance. You can tell what he wants to do here. Yeah. Up, and up. And Ch Chance Crestinger is also keeping uh, kind of low as well. Explode, Johnny, explode. Oh, wow. Straight Go, kick Johnny. right up the middle. Missed. 
And now Verado working once again to get this fight to the ground. He locks his hands up, puts him on the ground. He didn't slam him, he ushered him down. But I think he knows that Cressinger's got really, really shifty hips and maybe he wanted to make sure he didn't land in a precarious situation. Now he's in half guard and Cressinger's definitely active with his bottom guard. Making sure he can neutralize any ground and pound that's headed his way. Alvarado on top, posturing. Throws a left to the head, a right to the body. Now a right to the body and to the head. Yeah, the but he is telling. He's warning him, but I think Alvarado's been pretty active. Here. Yeah, so, uh, so do I. Oh, 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 look at this. The triangle attempt. Triangle. Alvarado recognizes it and gets out, but wow, I'm telling you, Cressinger's very, very crafty, very shifty with his hips. You cannot take him lightly there. Now he's got him in a Noma Plata. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Roll, roll. Johnny, Alvarado's corner is instructing Johnny, him to roll. Crestinger's preventing that, but he lets go. Get up, now it works to the Johnny, front side. Up, Thought up, it might be up. a front choke, but no. Stand Instead, up. they stand up. Pummel. Now he's locking Pummel. in. Whoop. Never mind. Pummel. They go back to the feet, looking for some separation. Pummel. And here we are with a minute and 15 seconds left. You got a minute left. Cressinger's opportunity up. to turn things around here. Yeah, both guys slowing down, down a little bit, but still still looking to strike. Cressinger misses with that front there kick. Go. Gets caught oh off God. balance, and now he goes uh, down to the ground once again. Alvarado in his guard. Alvarado's corner gets a, a warning from the commission official that you can't stand up while shouting to give instructions. This is a good spot for him. He's got to keep him there up against the cage. Fight those legs off. He's, he's done enough ground and pound in this round. Let's go, Johnny, Johnny, I think he's got a sizable work. lead here. Shot. Looks like Mark Smith, the referee's giving some instructions. Giving some feedback to both fighters. Maybe he wants a little bit more activity. Ten seconds left. I don't know that there's much Cressinger can seconds. do to win this round. The submission attempt that he had was quick, and Alvarado po powered out of it. This is definitely an Alvarado uh, round. Yeah, the crowd not really feeling Alvarado's style, but I, I think it's brilliant. Well, no, I, you know, I compare him a little bit to Jimmy Hedis. I mean, he's wrestling, but he's active. Yeah. The only thing maybe you could ask for more is to, for him to advance his position a little bit better with the wrestling. But hey, Cressinger looks dangerous. You don't yeah. you don't want to fart around with that guy because, as you can tell. You know, that, that guy can slap on a submission very, very quickly. He's got very, very shifty hips. And uh, those guys are some of the most dangerous guys. Someone like Anthony Pettis, man. That guy, when he's on the bottom, he is really, really dangerous. Let's look at the replay here. Alvarado pushing him against the cage, eventually gets the fight to the ground. And now he's ground and pounding from the top, but Preston just set up a, uh, a triangle. Now we're showing another position here where he had a shoulder lock on him. Not much came out of that. Alvarado eventually got the fight back to the ground, and that's where it ended. We have Alvarado up unofficially 20 to 18 or two rounds to none. Still another round to go. The referee brings him in. They touch gloves, and off we go. Three more minutes of mixed martial arts competition for the interim lightweight title. If you're scoring at home, I'm pretty sure you got the mm. same score we do. Couple big go. rights thrown, except nobody really landed plus. The milkman's gonna need a finish here. Combo, Johnny, let's go. A lot of strikes being thrown, but they're, they're missing. You gotta work it! Good right hand from Alvarado. You know, Cressinger's in another one. Hands up, hands he's, within, he's, in, he's within the reach to strike, but Alvarado's the one that's kind of beating him to the punches. Yeah, it's strange Alvarado having so much success taking him down and keeping him down. Cressinger's wants to strike with him in this round. Looking to counter. But he needs to be a little bit more active if he wants to win this fight because he needs a finish. He just threw a nice kick that landed shin to jaw, but... Alvarado took that one off pretty quick. He throws another one, misses. Alvarado catches his leg. There you go. Switch to a double. Switch to a double. And he holds on to the single. Turn the corner. 
Very, very nice underhooks there by Kressinger. But now he's got some work ahead of him with a little bit over half the round left here in the third round. Johnny Alvarado versus Chance Kressinger. Alvarado gets the fight to the ground. And I think this could be a little bit of the same recipe that we got in rounds one and two goes. Yeah, I want to say this is a wrap, but you know, Kressinger is pretty active off his back. He's definitely going to have to land some sort of submission though to end this fight. He's down two rounds here. One minute, one minute. One minute as you can hear the corners in the back shouting out to Johnny Alvarado. Johnny, you got a lot Mark Smith has seen enough. He stands both fighters up. These hands are down a little bit. The jaws are exposed. Alvarado clean lands on uh, Crescenter's jaw. Goes to the takedown, but that is thwarted by Crescenter's very nice sprawl. That's a punch he's landed over and over in this fight. Alvarado, that right hand over the top. There's 30 seconds left here. And Alvarado's controlling this cage once again. Crescenter just doing more. Fighting off the wrestling more than anything. No offense being mounted on this part. A little unhappy here with the lack of action. Very dominant and performance though from Alvarado. With 10 seconds left, I think it's safe to say it. we have ourselves a fight that goes to the finish. And I believe Johnny Alvarado will be the gentleman that gets his hand raised here when we get the official announcement. Crescenter very upset, very frustrated, but there was nothing he could do to stop that wrestling. He had his moments here and there, but you know, Alvarado, even on the feet, he didn't do too bad. It's a great performance from Alvarado. Well, Alvarado's probably not gonna be in the feet. You meant to say Crescenter? What's up? You meant to say Crescenter in defeat, probably in defeat. Didn't oh, he I thought Alvarado landed a lot of overhand right. Yeah, 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 definitely. There's many times where you can tell, even on a loss, if there's, if there's a fighter that's going to have some sort of success or a future. And I can definitely tell Crescenter's got a lot of skills, man. Let's look at the replay here. A lot of Alvarado on top action. Some ground and pound there. Punch to the head and body. Here's some replays of... Uh, them striking. Alvarado would set up his strikes very nice and eventually just clinch up and Cre Cressinger just could do nothing to stop that. On the ground he attacked a little bit from the bottom but it wasn't enough. Let's send it up to Justin Bernard. announcement comes in from Justin Bernard. It's Johnny Alvarado with the unanimous decision. He's the new champion, excuse me, interim lightweight champion here at Tough Enough Amateur Fighting Championships where the future stars of MMA are.